Hi, Internet. Welcome to the Grad Tron YouTube channel. We are here with another rock reaction. It's Thursday, so that means we're reacting to Thin Lizzy, because Thin Lizzy Thursdays is what we do on this channel. What are we reacting to today? Whoa! Is that the Johnny the Fox album? That album sure is neat. Oh man, are we reacting to Massacre? Because that's what the title of the video says. I guess that's what we're doing. So, yeah, we're doing Massacre off of Johnny the Fox. Famously covered by Iron Maiden, but uh, more famously just, you know, awesome, the Thin Lizzy version. It's a classic. Um, Thin Lizzy has several different categories of songs, and this is what I call their, their battle category. So, songs like Emerald and Genocide, Kill of the Buffalo... Uh, and Massacre all sort of fall into this category of just these cool, Lizzy battle epics. Um, I think it's a great song. I think it's excellent. I prefer this to the Maiden version because I think, um, you know, it's a little bit more funky. And uh, I think it gives it a distinct flavor that sort of separates it from a lot of metal bands that came after this. Um, but yeah, John of the Fox album came out the same year as Jailbreak. Um, considered a lesser follow-up by many, including myself. I think Jailbreak is a better album, and I think this might have been the wrong record to follow up uh, Jailbreak with. For for really deep dive uh, thoughts into that in particular, um, I recommend my podcast, The Lipset Panel. We did an episode on John of the Fox for, for a deep dive into the full album. Uh, to really articulate those f thoughts further, but to not waste any more time, uh, let's get into Massacre. You know, this is an S-rank, perfect song, one of the best songs ever created by humans, truly excellent. Uh, for those new to the channel, I will react to stuff I've heard before, um, and it just give you my off-the-cuff feelings that day, totally unscripted. So we're going to listen to it, uh, I'm going to pause a couple times to comment on cool stuff, and uh, hopefully you get some new appreciation for the song, or whatever. You know what, we're just having a good time listening to Thin Lizzy, it's going to be great. So yeah, Massacre off the Johnny the Fox album, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so the star of this first section for me is really Brian Downey. Uh, the beginning drum pattern is very um, tribal, almost like um, like Native American music. Uh, just super, super cool, thunderous war drums, um, really setting the atmosphere for the song. Uh, just really giving you that you know, grand, you know, epicness is about to go down in the song. And then uh, it changes into this uh, rhythm that is both funky and metal at the same time. And it's something that is very distinctly Thin Lizzy. Uh, this is a song that uh, has a lot of different elements. There's there's the Celticisms, there's the dual guitars, there's, you know, the funk, there's the metal. And that's kind of something that only really Lizzy succeeds with. There are, you know, there aren't really other bands that do this kind of thing and helps make Lizzy so unique. And I feel like, you know, Brian Downing's drumming is so tasteful and that a lot of metal drummers who followed in the wake of this sort of lost um, the funk that he that he brought to that he brought to hard rock and I, I feel that that is something that is sorely mid in, missing with a lot of metal that came after this but um, just really great guitar playing also uh, just excellent syncopation just uh, the riffs are funky and metal at the same time which is just really really cool uh, I'm gonna rewind uh, so we can enjoy that intro again but I just had to comment on those two sections being really great before we get into the verse so we're gonna start from the top just had to comment on how great that was <laughs> great harmony guitars Lizzie classic Just a tasty, tasty riff. And just a uh, just great, great drum part. Brilliant. At a point below zero, 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 there's no place left to go. 600 unknown heroes will kill like sleeping buffalo. Death has no companion. The spirit's voice 
so uh, phenomenal vocal from Phil Lynott, uh, as per usual. Um, really great vocal production. The you know echo effect when he you know says Devil's Canyon makes you feel like you're in a canyon. This song is a really great atmospheric piece. Uh, really paints a picture, builds the scene super well. Um, and of course, another example of just brilliant arrangement from this band, them utilizing the two guitars so well, where you've got uh, one guitar holding out those big rock power chords, and the other guitar keeping that funky syncopated rhythm going up during the verses, and you've got just a, you know, a powerful mode of vocal, and then those killer drums. You know, all of them working together as a unit. Um, and really, this is the kind of thing that, you know, you, you can tell where Maiden got their idea for stuff like the Trooper and stuff. It's it's from this song. You can see where that lineage is very easy to track. Um, you know, once again, uh, just great, great, great. Remember, these are, these are unscripted, so off-the-cuff thoughts as I'm listening to it today. I'm sure there are things that I've noticed about this song that are great on other days that I'm maybe not bringing up right now, because, but there's just, you know, there's so much craft and so many great layers to this that uh you know i'm bound to miss something so uh make sure you you tell me below uh what awesome stuff about the song that i missed in this reaction so i can feel bad for not mentioning like oh man that part is sick ah uh, yeah so let's rewind just a hair and get back to it Okay, that's a, that was that was an awesome bass part right there. That part is so cool. It's one of my favorite parts of the song. You know, I, I every time I listen to the song, I'm always really excited for that bass part. It's just, it's really, really cool. I honestly think that Phil Lynott as a bassist is about as good as I am as a bassist, which isn't a compliment. It's basically, you get the job done, you play root notes, but, um, you know, uh, he's, he's not on a deep purple level. He's not on a rush level. He is not one of the most technically skilled bassists in rock history. He is a singer-songwriter who plays bass. And every now and then he'll do a good bass part, but he is basically, basically, ah, but he's basically just trying to serve the song and usually so it kind of does like the bare minimum of what he needs to do because he's really a front man who plays the bass and uh, the bass is a backup. He's a singer songwriter. He's not as focused on the intricate bass parts uh, as many other hard rock guys are. So really, you know, he has more in line with like, a, you know, a Bob Dylan type who's just strumming their instrument playing a song, except he's strumming the bass. Uh, that said, his bass part there is really cool, and he is really doing a great job in this song of keeping up with really, really phenomenal players. And uh, like I said, Phil is, uh, for those who don't know, Phil is probably my favorite rock star, period, in terms of like an individual rock star. He's probably my number one, so even as I'm critiquing some of the talent level, I'm saying I don't care because he has the the coolness, the charisma, the swagger, uh, the great vocals, uh, the great songwriting, just masterful, masterful songwriter, and I don't need him to be the world's best bassist. I just need him to play good parts for the songs that he's playing, and that just happened to be a little bit more technical than he normally does, but just super cool and awesome. So yeah, let's rewind a little bit and get back to it. Great 
drum part. Yeah, um, just a great solo. Uh, you know, Thin Lizzy uh, often gets um, remembered mainly for the for the twin guitars, uh, mainly for the twin guitar harmonies. But I think this song just really shows, you know, obviously the harmony parts that they do are great, but it really, you know, showcases what a great guitar team they were and, and the balance between um, Gorham and Robertson as players and what they brought together as a unit where you had just this really, you know, funky backing track where the rest of the band is cooking and then just a killer solo up front. Um, like I said, this is one of the best rock songs ever made. Um, this is a masterpiece. You know, for people who don't my, know my ranking system, S rank is above A, um, because that stands for Super A, because I use the weird Japanese grading system because it's more fun that way, because a level beyond A is just a really fun concept. So, yeah, this is above A. This is S rank. Shoot, beyond double S rank, beyond triple S. This is like quadruple S rank. This is a masterpiece. One of the best things, like, humankind has ever done is the song. It's just really, really cool. Uh, yeah, it's just awesome. Uh, rewind a hair, get back to it. Okay, and I hate to pause that quickly, but damn, what a great vocal that was. Like, shit, man. That's, that's really freaking good. Ah, uh, Phil Lina just so masterful at capturing emotion in music. And I know this entire net part is him just going to be killing it on the vocals. I'm not going to pause after each line. I'm going to rewind. But I had to because that was so good. Ah, Phil, we miss you. You died before I was born, but I still miss you because you're really cool. All right. Ah, man, Brian and Donnie's so good at the drums. They're all so good. Yeah. And just that perfect ending. It just, boom, ends like that. And that's that's all you needed. Ah, oh, man, freaking, freaking Massacre. What a what a killer tune. Um, Once again, uh, Thin Lizzy Thursdays. Uh, we will be going through basically every Thin Lizzy song on this channel. Uh, but this was per request. Um, so definitely make sure you let me know what Thin Lizzy songs you want me to do next. I still have a bunch of Thin Lizzy requests I need to get to, so... You know what, it's just whichever one uh, tickles my fancy that week. But there's so many great requests, so many great songs. Commenting on Massacre in particular. I feel I've already done that. It's a masterpiece. It's a great song. I I feel like, you know, the problem with Johnny the Fox as an album following up the uh, Jailbreaks that didn't really have a strong pop single... I think, uh, you know, like, Don't Believe a Word is a really cool uh, song if you're a musician who loves lyrics and really pays attention to that kind of stuff, but it's not necessarily uh, the, the follow-up to Boys Are Back in Town. And neither is this song. Uh, and so it's not maybe the, uh, the you know, the, the pop album that might have sold uh, to radio, but this is um, a damn rock and metal classic that inspired a ton of bands and... It remains distinct. Despite the number of followers that this song gained, this has its own identity that no one has really copped. No one has really copied this particular style because most metal bands strip out all the funk and you know strip out that really interesting syncopation. That's just um, how most metal bands do things. And so the fact that you know, Thin Lizzy was able to uniquely combine these influences into something that is still powerful and potent and great by 2020 standards, competitive, distinct, unique. It's both of its time and timeless. Uh, yeah, once again, one of the greatest rock songs ever. A song that, uh, to me, is a stone-cold classic. 
Like, this is an absolute classic with the Thin Lizzy catalog, and yet I know that, to the average music fan, they don't know it. But for me, this deserves to be on classic rock radio rotation. Uh, this is, uh, for me, a song I would put on a Thin Lizzy Greatest Hits compilation. Uh, essential for the live set. This is just an essential Thin Lizzy song. And... Um, once again, as mentioned in a, a comment on another video, I feel more pressure to get these Thin Lizzy songs right than other songs I haven't heard before. Because I'm like, ah, screw it, whatever. I don't know this Tool song. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, you know, and the and the Tool song was was good, was good. But you know, this Stone Cold classic, quadruple S rank, perfect song. Uh, that is the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the things. Tell me what Thin Lizzy songs you want to me to react to next Thursday and other songs on other days of the week. I will react to them. That is the video. And be sure to stick around for tomorrow's video because tomorrow is Friday, which means it is another listener request. And uh, it's a golden oldie that uh, I got a lot of requests for. So hopefully y'all dig it. Have a good one. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.